come to Nook here? Well, money. <laughs> that and they're almost there. They're not quite there yet. Thank all you guys for showing up. This is insane. Like, we don't have enough shirts for everybody. I think we're up to like 70, 75 people. Yeah. Every one of you guys that shared it on Facebook, absolutely incredible. Like, I was like, oh, 25, 30 people. And you guys are blown away. Jim's super happy. I, I just love the fact that everybody's here. And by the end of today, I hope all of you guys get to know each one another. Some of you guys like off on your own, stuff like that. The whole idea behind this Houston Paintball Club is to bring all these dudes together. Like, some of these guys, where's Taylor at? Hey, Trent. I've known Taylor since I was like 14 years old. Uh, T. Wood, uh, Taz, right here, raise your hand. He used to beat up on me when I was like 12. No, like, for no, real. No, no. You know that's true, that's first. <laughs> so, like, I've known you guys, a lot of you forever. Some of you guys are brand new at playing, right? The goal here is we have players who's renting equipment, raise your hand. We should have like four or five people that are renting equipment. These guys are the future of you guys, right? Like, you guys come up here real quick, if you don't mind. Come here. Yeah. If you, there should be like five renters out here, I think, today. If not, if you see one of them, take care of them, right? Like, like the goal here, some of you guys are super experienced. You guys play tournaments. David's back there, wins tournaments and stuff like that. Some of you guys, where's, where's, where's Haley? Where's T2? They, they, they won yesterday. So everybody here is from different walks of life. Everybody's from all over the place. You guys are absolutely amazing. So we have a lot of you guys are customers of the store. We just love the fact you guys are out here made it. But these guys are the next guys, right? So if you see them close up, don't shoot them close up, right? If you see them having a hard time, give them your gun, right? Stay, help them out. Help them out. My 15th what? birthday party here was that 17 years ago, whatever, right? So I haven't been here in a long time. So the refs are going to help us out. Where are the refs at? You got one right there. Are the other two ever in the office right now? They're working inside. So if you guys have questions too, reach out to these guys. They're going to so give us a lot of game ideas. I'm calling. Let's call it here. So if you guys have any questions, game ideas, things you want to do. We brought some props. Like if you guys saw the picture of Kyle with the little gel suit the post right now, right? The idea behind that is I'm going to let two random people wear that, right? From different games. And we're going to try to get the prisoners from this point to that point, And the other team's trying to you know, keep the prisoners from escaping. We got some little money bags that we bought. And it's all last minute. We were in Vegas last week for a national event. So we'll have more as this goes on. But we want to build it up, two different props, bigger groups. Uh, one of my ideas, I want to do like a 50 cal rental day, so none of us bring our own equipment. We beat up on each other with the rental stuff. Just, <laughs> and so that way we can all bring our young friends that have been playing before and make sure they have a good time, right? So we got a lot of ideas for this. We're really open to everything like that. Yeah, so like the first game, I'm going to leave it up to the yeah, refs. Like We're going to try to split it up even. One rule I ask for everybody, and I'm going to be super disciplined on this. We are not worried, and I say this lightly, I am not worried about the, the money that this club makes because the club makes no money on this. So if you want to be rude, if you do not want to have fun, if you do not want to make sure the people around you have fun, this is not for you. Straight up, right? If you're cocky, you want to cheat, you want to be worried about raising your hand. How many guys play in hockey? Those guys play at TXR Paintball. They're a good group. They play scenarios. They play speedballs. They play different stuff. We have Cobra Paintball. Raise your hand. We have three of them here. These guys travel all over the country and play big scenario games, thousands of people games. You have questions about paintball? There are dudes here that know about paintball, right? You, my brother and I here, we play for AC Dallas, the professional team. We travel. He's going to Europe this year to play. These guys play all over the country, like I said, and then we have renters. So there are people from all over place play here. Eric's from France, so he plays over there. He, he speaks French too, so if you want to talk to him. Number one, thing, number one thing, I don't want people to get shot close up, right? If it's your buddy and you know he's your buddy, like, ask him to surrender, right? Like, I don't know what the field rules are, but I want to have club rules no matter where we go. So some of the games I'm doing, I'm not going to do it where you have to go clear the building out so the last person's dead, right? I don't want to do that. I want to make sure if you don't want to be aggressive, you have a chance to stay in the back, right? If you want to be aggressive play, you have that chance too. So open to suggestions, stuff like that. Uh, first game, I'm going to leave it up to the refs. The refs are going to explain the rules. Like, you guys decide what field we go to yeah, first. Yeah. They're going to explain the rules on that. Um, if, we, if you can't hear the rules, scoot up. If you just want to come out and shoot people, game on for that too. So I appreciate it. I want to thank everyone of you. And honestly, 
Like, everybody that shared a Facebook post, you may not feel that's helpful, but that explodes it so much more. It's five more people, three more people, 20 more people that see that post. It's so helpful. Right now, we're almost 400 people on the private Facebook group where we communicate back and forth. Um, that's HoustonPaintball.org, and then the website's going to be HoustonPaintballClub.org. So, if you can share that page, keep people going. Just the more people go, the more groups we get together, the better I think it's going to be. So, And also one in this building right here, okay? Teams are going to start in the woods on this side. One team's going to start in the woods on that side. The objective is to get one of the money bags, one of them, you don't have to get both, and move them to the barrel, the, the tires. The tire stack successfully. The tire stack successfully, that player has to be alive when he gets there to this tire stack over there in the field, where, where you guys just were, okay? The, the one on the right. It's the one in the middle. The one in the middle. The one in the 50, basically. Well, we'll walk you guys back out there and you'll, we'll make sure everyone knows. That is the premise. All right, so same thing. One reinsertion. So if you do get eliminated, you have to go back to your base, clean up your hits, and you can come back. Okay? You, ha you have to take it physically there. Okay? So, everyone, once again, because these are buildings, you may get shot close. If someone is very close and you are able to, if someone comes to you, if someone's in the building and you're going to go get them, okay, you have to understand that they can shoot you very close. Try to only shoot them once. If someone shoots you that close, just be out, be out, all right? Be eliminated, even if it bounces, all right? If they shoot you once, they're trying to be nice, just walk out, okay? If you have the option to uh, surrender someone, absolutely, please surrender someone. I know that's difficult in the game when other people are trying to shoot you, okay? But remember, if you are in here, there is definitely a chance that you can get shot close up. Everybody understand that? Two, two people per tower. Two people per tower? So literally every one of these ramp towers, only two people up top, okay? So you get shot and you're up there trying to get out of there pretty quick for these guys so they can keep I got a question. What about out here on this side where we're taking the money bag? Now, can they shoot from this back corner? Out Absolutely. that direction? Absolutely. No shooting because so, there's no bunkers out that way. There's it's some trees. free run. There's some trees. Gotcha. Just right. curious. That's the idea. So it's supposed to be difficult. The idea is that you guys will fight in here for the bags, right? And then you can either retreat back and then try to attack that way, or say you get the bag, now you're closer, and now it's a horizontal move to those tires. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Oh, so you just have to leave it real quick. 